Welcome back. We are talking about GDP and we are talking about um, how we can calculate GDP. So you've already hopefully seen a short video about how I converted the physical quantities of cars and corn in this very simple economy into, um, into market values. Uh, what I did is I multiplied the physical quantity, say 12,000 million um, bushels of corn by the price per bushel to get the market value. Um, so our next order of business is to see why we need the concept of real GDP. So this, um, the first uh, few rows show you the production of corn and cars in this economy in 2015. The next few rows show you the production of corn and cars in the year 2018. So three years have passed and what we find is cars uh, continue to be at the same level of production. About 8 million cars are produced in 2018. Um, and um, the price of cars remains the same as well. We have 8 um, million cars that, that are produced. So the, uh, the, um, the uh, price of cars is the same. And so the market value of cars is the same. What has changed in the three years is that the pr physical production of corn has gone up from $12 billion, uh, 12 billion bushels to 16.8 billion bushels. And that's great. Um, the price of uh, uh, corn has also stayed the same. Um, so now when we multiply $5 per bushel times 16.8 billion bushels, we see a much higher market value for um, corn and so we see a sharp increase in GDP uh, from $300,000 million to $324,000 million. Um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you how to calculate the rate of growth of GDP for this economy in the three-year period um, between uh, 2018 and 2015. I'm going to apply this formula. Um, GDP in the final year that we are interested in, which is 2018, minus GDP in 2015, divided by the GDP in 2015 times 100. So 324,000 million minus 300,000 million divided by 300,000 million times 8, not times 100. And that gives us that in the three year period between um, 2015 and 2018, the GDP of this country grew by 8%. That's a pretty decent number. Um, and this is actually showing us that the size of the economy expanded, the economy became healthier. Why? Because the price of corn stayed the same at $5 per bushel, the price per car stayed the same at $30,000 per car. And so this 8% rate of growth in GDP is purely due to this increase in the physical production of corn, which is great. Now let's take another case that between um, 2015 and 2018, the uh, pr physical production of corn um, stayed the same at 12 billion bushels. The physical production of cars stayed the same at 8 million. However, the price per unit of corn increased from $5 per bushel to $7 per bushel. Okay, so that uh, we are essentially contrasting um, uh, line four uh, or row four with $5 per uh, bushel to uh, line 15, which has $7 per bushel. Now, when I calculate the market value of corn, um, we, I'm going to multiply $7 per bushel times 12 billion bushels, and I get 84. I When I add up the two market values, I get GDP. Ironically, it's still the same number, $324,000 million. And so the rate of growth between uh, 2015 and 2018 is the same 8%. But now this rate of growth here, right here, is misleading because this 8% rate of growth only captures this rate of growth of prices. The price of corn increased from $5 per bushel to $7 per bushel. The physical production of corn stayed the same. The physical production of cars stayed the same. So why is GDP growing? Only because of the change in prices. And so this 8% here is going to be, is the rate of growth of nominal GDP, which has not been corrected for changes in prices. Only when prices stay constant can we calculate a reliable rate of growth of real GDP. And um, that is how we correct uh, nominal GDP uh, to, uh, to, um, to become real GDP by um, by keeping prices constant in a particular base year.